Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Trader Joe's Chocolate Palette Assorted Chocolate Confections. So, uh, Kevin said it, and I think he's right. It's supposed to look like a paint an palette. Art, yeah, an art palette. Paint yeah. Palette. So, there are eight different flavors in here. Uh, you, It is sealed on, or it has a little piece of tape on both sides. All I did was cut the tape because I wanted to take a picture of this for you um, before we got into it. So, I, I did that before we started the video. And it does look like, uh, if you ever buy an art kit, this looks like the, the tubes does. of paint in there. That's with the cool. black in the background. Yeah, with the black and, plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, there are, uh, like I said, eight flavors. These are all product of Belgium. Uh, you have one, two, three, four, five. Five are dark chocolate and only three are milk chocolate. So why don't we save the milk chocolate ones till the end and do all dark chocolate first. The dark chocolate. So you get three of each flavor too. Yeah, uh, we have uh, the dark chocolate. You have vanilla, crispy corn, salted caramel, chocolate, uh, dark, sorry, dark chocolate coffee, uh, praline, and then for milk, you have praline, crispy rice and hazelnut, and crispy almond. So we have six different what dark- the crispy corn is gonna be? Crispy corn. <laughs> uh, let's try it first. Let's, yeah, let's just get it out of the way. Nice size bar. Yeah, so I wanna see what these packages look like. Yeah, that's okay. nice, and I like that it's kind of like got the watercolor kind of Yeah, it's look very to it. pretty, and it just says on the back, it says this unit not labeled for retail sale. Right, that's, that's so people can't buy these packs and sell them. And then stores. sell them individually, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there that's are- that's a good size block of chocolate. 12 servings in the container, two pieces are 130 calories. Oh, still. Okay. Tastes like corn. It's almost got that, I can't even they call it Aztec corn or something, it's those great big hunks of crispy corn. That's kind of the flavor it has. It's not overwhelming, but it's there. I could easily pop that in my mouth and eat it if I didn't, if we didn't have all these other ones to try. Um, That's good. I really like that a lot. Mm -hmm. it, Very dark um, chocolate though. I think it's, it, it tastes like a little, um, not like, um, it tastes like a, a cornflake. That's what I was saying. Corn, so? Yeah, I think it tastes like a cornflake cereal. See, I'm getting more of a corn flavor. You know those little Aztec crusty mm -hmm. big corn right. pieces? It kind of has a, and I can it just see tastes that. like corn. No, and I can see that because those pieces, he's talking about the pieces that come in a trail mix. Yeah, like a trail mix. Yeah, pieces. I can see that. It's in between, I think, like a corn flake in yeah. that. I, yeah. I absolutely see that. That's good. You can taste the corn is the biggest thing. You can't taste a little bit of the corn, but it's not like off-putting. It's not like you're eating corn. No, not like a can of corn. No, right. that's not what he means by that. That's why I wanted to be clear. Like um, a corn chip kind of flavor, or corn, yes, corn flake yes. or something, yeah. Uh, the texture of that is terrific. It's very, very, almost like a, a truffle-like. Yeah, yeah it's uh, very smooth. And, and the chocolate's nice. It's yeah. definitely dark. It's definitely dark. You know, you're probably right. Now that you've said it, we've had chocolate that has like corn flakes and mm -hmm. that's probably what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Let's go for the vanilla. That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> this one again, water, kind of a watercolor motif. It also has a lot number on the back too, so I don't know when it was made. This, I am surprised uh, that when it came out, it came out like, uh, in, in, I think like in the beginning of February and it just surprises me because this is the kind of a, this is the, are you okay? <laughs> Do you need a napkin? No. Um, this is the kind of collection that would be nice to give somebody for Christmas. Uh, you know, people like to give. A or story. Valentine's Day. Or Val well, that's I think what came out at the beginning of February is mm -hmm. for Valentine's Day. But to me, uh, this would make a, they should do this type of thing at, at Christmas too. I'm going to eat it all. You almost have to. It's, well, it's not, it's runny, runnier than I thought it would be, but it's not like watery. It's just a, it's a thick cream, like a, like a glaze you'd put on top of a, a cake or something. It reminds me of in a box of chocolate when yeah. you get the creams, but yeah. I don't like it. It's okay. It's not very strong vanilla. It's not I feel very... like I just wasted calories because I literally popped that half of the candy bar in my mouth. <laughs> it's well, not very well, sweet. Well, now you know not to. 
Yeah, it's not as sweet as you would think it would be no. with the with the creme. I don't I think the first it. one was super sweet either, though. It just had that corn flavor. No, too. but it had a really nice flavor. Right. That vanilla let me down, and it almost um, it doesn't taste like pure vanilla. Like it, it doesn't have just that sweet vanilla flavor. Right, exactly. it's, it's not really sweet at all. It's just it has the vanilla, but it's just. It's very light, and so the dark chocolate overpowers it. And, and the dark chocolate's pretty dark. It just, the I do not like the flavor of that at all. I would not eat any more of those. No, I, okay. didn't, I didn't mind it. What do you think I'm going to say next? Uh, probably the praline. Praline. Yeah, let's go with Because it should praline. be just sweet, like crunchy. Yeah, pieces. it should be, yeah. I am impressed though with the size of the bars. You get quite a bit of chocolate for ten bucks. Is what, what I'm getting at. I think you do too. That's why I think this. It's so it's so pretty. Um, so it's pretty, and so we'll That's see right. when we get to the end. Are enough of these? You should put the vanilla on another side, so we'll remember that that like you should have a good side. Ones we liked. No, I'm just saying over here on the table. Yeah. So we remember ones we liked, ones we didn't care for. That one again, it's not super sweet, but it does have a nice flavor, and it doesn't seem as dark as the other ones do. We've had a lot of uh, nougat bars from Germany. Mm -hmm. Nougat is different in Germany than it is here, and that reminds me of the texture of a German nougat, not right. our nougat. And uh, I, I do think it has. Um, there's a nuttiness to it. Very, very nutty. Yes. I really like that yep, one. Yeah, it's very good. It's, and again, but uh, it's not sweet. Not really. No, it's it's not. No, it's not. But I, I truly do like that. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, next. Salted caramel? Caramel, yeah. yeah. Salted caramel. I figured caramel. you would say the coffee for a while. Yes. Yeah, salted caramel. And hopefully we can taste some salt. I am surprised. I expected that, this to be a little runnier. That they did as many of these as they did in a dark chocolate instead of doing like half and half or even having some with white. See, they could do this whole collection again with all new flavors and different chocolates. Ooh, it's got good. some soft caramel in it. That is a crispy. Very crispy, snappy chocolate. Mm -hmm. We had one other one. Oh, the vanilla one was another one that was snappy. Yeah, like. that is very snappy. That's good, but I don't get any caramel. Or very little caramel. Because the chocolate's so strong. If they put that in milk chocolate, it would have been really good. I think it would have been good in milk chocolate too, although I do like it. I like it too, it's sweet. I do like uh, the texture of it. Um, it uh, It is, uh, has a, it's a very, very thin, crispy layer on the outside. Mm. So it's really easy to sink your teeth into. It's the, the, when they put it with the dark chocolate like that, um, it's just not overly sweet is right. all. But I do think it is sweet. Now, I didn't taste salt. No, I didn't really get a lot of caramel, truthfully. Um, I think the dark chocolate just kind of covers it all up. It's yeah. unfortunately. I like the caramel. Okay, this I like coffee. it, it's just that I would have been better than milk chocolate. So I'm interested, is this one gonna have like the little nibs, the little- um, Oh, the like wool shells. <laughs> that Kevin loves, or is it just gonna have a coffee flavor? Get more. Oh, we can no. open another one. No. The inside is almost a whipped up uh, truffle, mm -hmm. almost a loose like texture. Mm -hmm. It's um. It's good. It's strong. It's softer than a Milky Way. So like a Milky Way. I think it's soft and fluffy on the inside, but this is much softer. Yeah. Um, I do not care for that coffee. It's very, like, strong, like funky coffee, <laughs> like yes. old coffee. Yeah, it's not like coffee that we drink. It's uh, not like coffee we're used to. It's like those little cups, you know, the espresso you get. That's kind of <laughs> like, like an espresso. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like the the little small cups you drink. You know, that, that's yeah. Kind of... It's it's it has a funkiness to it. I don't think we've ever reviewed. Trader Joe's coffee? I don't know. They do have lots of coffee. They have, because yeah. I look at it every time we go past, I look at it and um, 
it, it uh, I've always wondered about it, but we've just never reviewed it before. And I wonder if their coffee tastes like that, because if it does, I would not like it. Yeah, it's a, it's a little strong. It's, there's just a funkiness to it that mm -hmm. I'm not used to. And there's the chocolate's dark, so you don't get any sweetness to overcome some of that. Mm -mm. It, that's definitely flavor. not a traditional coffee uh -huh. flavor. Okay, now we have three in milk chocolate. What are we going for? The praline. The hazelnut, praline, and... Let's oh. go for the praline. Because it, it just seems like it would be... Yeah, I still love the packaging right now. I do too. It's, it's beautiful packaging. And I mean, if you wanted to, if you're buying this for yourself, you could put this in a candy dish. And mm -hmm. it's just going to be a very colorful candy dish. It's very nice uh, watercolor things. I, I went to school. I mean, I'm talking about middle school. With a girl that was really good... Um, with watercolors, she did mm -hmm. these beautiful pictures with watercolors. It's really cool. Our daughter-in-law, uh, Christina, is very artistic, and she's good with stuff like this too. I don't know if she paints with. I don't think she's ever painted with watercolors, but no, she paints with my like paint. Mm -hmm. mm, that's nice. Once that again, on? that's the praline. Once oh, again, yeah. though, that um. And that nuttiness to it. It has a nuttiness to it. It's delicious in the milk chocolate. Yeah, it's really, it really good. It really stands out in the milk chocolate. And it, it has that like German nougat texture, mm -hmm. which is incredibly thick and creamy. And nutty. Mm hmm. I love that one. Mm. Okay, now we have the almond. With almond? Yeah, crispy almond. These last two are both crispy. So I'm assuming. One of them it's says gonna... crispy rice, the other one just says crispy. Right. So this is just crispy almonds, so so we don't know. Do the first bite? No, you take it. Mm. And the milk chocolate, it, it, it's a nice change from having all dark. I almost wish they'd put more milk in here. That's what I'm saying. They could do another collection. Mm. Mm. They taste like a very heavily roasted almond, like almost burnt. Like they've almost burned them. I love that. Love Very toasty. That. Oh. Do you I get that? It's like that almost yes, burnt Yes, I think flavor? it's wonderful. If you ever put almonds, mm. or pecans for that matter, in a pan and heat them on the stove and you get that really strong aroma of that mm -hmm. kind of like scorched nutty kind of flavor, our smell, that's what that tastes like. That's my favorite one with it, that. It's very, very sweet it's too. It's delicious. And it has these uh, crisp pieces in mm -hmm. it. So when it said crispy, I was thinking like a Rice Krispies treat, you know, that kind of thing. And it thing. might be, but it's... I don't think it is. Like a, it seems like a crystallized sugar. Yeah. That's the little hard pieces in it. It's um, very good. Delicious. It's very, very sweet. Uh, love the milk chocolate. This last one is milk chocolate, crispy rice, and hazelnut. This is the only one we've had with hazelnut. And it has two layers. Mm -hmm. Oh, but, the praline um, came through a little bit as a hazelnut kind of flavor. I agree with you, especially in the dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It was almost like... It could have been hazelnut, yeah. but it wasn't. That one's good, but I wouldn't say hazelnut. I wouldn't either. It's very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, super sweet. And it's, it's, I like the little crunchy pieces, but... The texture is different on this one than any other one here. Yeah, it's a little more firm. It's firmer. It's denser. So it has two layers. None of the other one had two layers like this. And the layers on the inside, all the other ones have been really, really ultra soft. This one is... It still is soft, but it's a little, it's more to bite down into than the other ones. That one almost comes across, now that I've eaten it, the aftertaste is almost caramel-like. Um, I can see where you'd say that because it's sweet. It's, it's sweet. very, very like sweet. Like a sweet, sugary kind of flavor. Um, Trader Joe's. So do you Jones, like that one? They need, I do like it. Okay. They need to do more, I think, with milk chocolate. I think they do a lot with dark chocolate just because. I think it says high end when you do cho dark chocolates. It's like more luxurious. I'd rather have milk. Yeah, I'd rather have milk day. too. And they need to make a collection with white. White, with all what? three. White yeah, milk. Have all three. Yeah. Because um, they could have easily have done like three, three, and two with white or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or four and three. And yeah, they could have done like, like raspberry and white. Yeah. Or, I mean, strawberries and cream or caramel something. Caramel and white goes yeah. wonderful. It's just ultra, ultra sweet. Um, yeah, my only complaint is that they did a lot of dark chocolate, but 
the dark chocolate they used is good. We only really didn't like two. Yeah, I like I like the dark chocolate. I thought the dark mm -hmm. chocolate was really nice. Um, it uh, the flavors were good enough to where they were able to uh, um, uh, be stronger than the dark chocolate. Yeah, overcome. The Over dark chocolate. Thank you, overcome <laughs> the dark chocolate. Um, I think this is an awesome collection. They should sell this all the time. Um, I don't know if they will or not. Uh, you know, a lot of things come and go at Trader Joe's, but most things stay there for the most part all the time. This should be something that's there all the time because yeah. you anybody would appreciate this, yeah. I think. And when you get like 24 pieces of chocolate? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you get 24. Um, my very, very favorite is the milk chocolate crispy almond. Um, I probably that's it. probably my favorite too. So delicious. Although I really like that one of the first ones we tried, the, the dark, dark chocolate, chocolate with the corn. The I, I agree, the dark chocolate corn um, and the dark chocolate praline. I like both of those too. I think out of the dark chocolates, the I'm gonna say the praline was my favorite, the dark chocolate yeah. praline. But I also like the milk chocolate praline. So yeah. it goes, you know, either way you get it, I think it's good. Mm -hmm. But I think this is a terrific collection. Yeah. I think it's absolutely worth. Worth ten dollars. Yeah, there's enough there that's really good. To this would be an awesome gift to give somebody. If you gave them this and a card, I, I, or this, this would be a good teacher gift. It would be a good teacher gift. It really would. You can even good. write on the back. Thank, thank you. You know, whatever. Oh, for an art teacher. That, that oh, that's so cool. Yes, I love that. Love that. They would appreciate this. I'm telling you. Uh, but I think anybody would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. Uh, and it, it's just really good chocolate. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a picture of this for you at the end and thanks for watching.